Hello air and welcome to your extended reading. So let's go ahead and dive into it right now. Whoa. So a lot wanted to come out right now. We have the six of swords and we have the world in reverse. So, uh, so with the six of swords, I'm getting that there is a sense of recovery from your hard work like I feel that because in the previous reading we were speaking about how you had a lot a lot of irons in the fire you were putting out so many fires others and your own that you are seeking some sort of recovery from this um maybe needing getting getting sleep um you even can see in the in this card the fire, Let's see if I can focus here. You see that fire in the background? There's fires that you're running away from. It's because sometimes it, be it can become too much. And there we go. And there is this need of um, air needing of space, time, and reflection from the chaos. So you're moving away and you're going to put a place where it's a little bit more dry. It's a little bit more um, feasible and it's calm. It may be a little scarce, but it's better than where you've been. So let's get that into there we go so that is something that is you're seeking and I'm getting that it's like a rite of passage it's necessary right now um, to have your own space it's necessary to tune into yourself it's necessary to gain your own personal power um, and with the world in reverse, it's the structure that you're paying attention to. It's your foundation that you are, um, wanting to, uh, wanting it to become more solid than it was before. And right now, I think you're paying more attention to your own than you are of others you are um, usually more attending to others than yourself. But this time, it's time to reflect on your own foundation, your own success, your own achievements. This is your journey. And look how beautiful this card is. It's like she is surrounded by her guides and she is just more in tune, lighting her own fire you know, pay attention, paying attention to the balance, the yin and the yang. And it's just more, it, there's more solace in that. There we go. So you are essentially doing what's best for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. We have the Three of Wands in reverse, and we have the Two of Cups. So it seems like love is on the back burner. Um, and with the Three of Wands, it, it seems like there is more that you are wanting to explore, but feeling that you may be a little bit limited, limited in. Um, it's the paying attention to your creativity at this time you're very creative you have a lot of opportunities when it comes to your mind you're able to write things a lot of things on paper so i suggest you write um this is a very good writing opportunity for you right now if you're a writer if you're not it's still a good opportunity to you are having to tune in to what sparks you you know i think that there are people who have a lot more time in their hands 
and um it's like what what do I do now and for you this is the the key to tune in to what you want to do literally like ask yourself what is it that you want Wh what do you want what is it that you where do you see yourself in three to five years where do you see yourself living who do you see yourself with um, those are the questions that you need to ask at this time and write it down because you never know when you look at it three to five years from now, you'll be like, wow, that's really what I wanted and it's coming into fruition. You know, scripting is very important. Um, vision boards are very important as, as well. I would not... Um, take those lightly those are really important tools and manifesting tools that you can use to get to where you need to be thoughts there is a lot of um i'm feeling that there could be a possible male or female counterpart that is um on your mind or vice versa, so there is someone who is um, has you on their mind. And this person can also be very creative and very uh, in their feelings right now. There is someone who's wanting to gain some type of wisdom from this situation. And I'm feeling with the Two of Cups in reverse that right now you are more focused on you than you are of the situation. You're fo focused on your own world. You're focused on, oops, on you and what you want and what your spirit spiritual team wants for you. That's what you're focused on. You could probably hear the winds in the background. It's like wherever the wind will take you, that's what you're focused on. And you're giving it some thought. You're possibly listening to music. Maybe you wanting to go out for a drink. Wanting to... I'm getting wanting to express yourself mingle networking i think you're focused on networking with other individuals person this person wants to write to you there is a a, a heavy feminine energy in this reading there is someone who sees you literally sees you and maybe, you know, there are times where you felt like you weren't seen before. Well, you're being seen now. And they are seeing you. Seeing you in your light. They want to birth something with you. I'm feeling you want to birth something on your own. There is time at the creative table. There is uh, time. Time is of the essence. There's a lot of contemplating and thinking. Hmm, what is it that I want to do? What do I want to shine my light on? Judication. There may be a uh, light shining on this situation. There has been a lot of back and forth in the past. Well, no, you said this. No, but you said that. Now it's what? What do you? What do you want? Because you can go do this back and forth every single time. But what is it that you want? Paperwork could be involved.
could be a vegan, vegetarian. It's looking at two sides of a situation. I'm trying to get my cards together. There we go. Oh, wow. See, a lot wants to come out. Great fortune. There could be a very a, a very good opportunity in this uh, relationship that could be coming forth to you. There could be a romantic connection between two people. Two people who get along may not be all the time, but there is a sense of connection between the two that uh and i just seen 11 11 so this there's there is a divine connection that cannot be shaken it's a beautiful connection it may not be perfect but it's something that you love to entertain and someone loves to entertain with you there's uh commingling you could meet if you haven't met this person already, you could meet this person at a networking event. Someone who would sort of wine and dine you. Someone who would give you an experience. And I think you're all about experiences. Someone who wants to show you something. They can see you blossoming into something beautiful and they want a part of that. They want to be creative with you. But it's your it's your decision. It's what you want. Because you are birthing something. And there are people who want a part of that. You see how this person is contemplating. What do I want? What is it that I want to, that I can see myself growing from three to five years from now? Who knows? It could be just next year. What do you see yourself growing from? What can I see myself investing in? Investing in your own future. That's what, that's what you can invest in. Invest in your relationships, your family, your friends, your career, your business. There is a lot of thinking on both sides. And these are two beautiful cards. You see in both of these cards that she has something in her hands. You may be very well, do very well with um, your hands. You could be very creative. I suggest you study and research that. You could be a healer. You could read oracle cards yourself. You have guidance from others. You could be changing your career. Your career could be um, something that you are free from, freedom from your past career. You have the world at your fingertips, so you can choose whatever you want to choose. You see her face? Let me see if I can get a close-up of her face. 
close it. Let's see how can we get close up here. There we go. She's like, don't try me. I know what I want. I know when I want it. And I know I'm going to get it. It's like that's the face you have. You know what you want. And you are not going to stop until you get it. And I say bravo to you. Don't stop until you get what you want. I don't care how long you spend in this position. It seems like it's at night. You do a lot of thinking at night. You could be walking a lot. Walking to get your thoughts together. Spending time exercising, creating, maybe in a room. Spending, night, spending nights with someone. That could be in your future. Spending nights with someone. All right, Air, so that was your extended reading. If you're interested in booking a session, the information is below. Otherwise, take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye.